Hey everyone, today we have a fine vintage blue Kale game. The reason why Kale's spell range got nerfed was because Kale only needed one cast to one shot backlines. Now, hitting 7 Story Weaver isn't an instant win because her spell only hits frontline. Kale still delays whatever she ults, but it just takes too long for her to cast again. But what if there's a way for Kale to cast more? Perhaps by giving her attack speed and mana. Five component start is absolutely perfect for fine vintage. I can start transforming two items right away. And even though I don't have any story weaver units, I'm down to force because of my wandering sentinel. Ooh, they got fortune. They could be scary if they get one emblem. I'm gonna make sure I don't miss any of my story weaver units. Just selling off to make 10. To make sure I always call unit, I should move Darius to the right so he and Caitlyn hit the same target. It might be right to sell Darius and Caitlyn to make 20, but I like holding these units to reduce damage. Alright, I'm not reducing anything against this guy. I took the cloak to make spark. I wanted an MR shred for blue kale, but not sure if it's worth making it this early when I could be making another support item. Time to start stacking Zeke's and chalices. Wait a second, they're just playing a bunch of 1 stars. Sucks that I lost my streak, but I still want to make 30. These aren't going to send me up better for the mid game anyway. Finally get Storyweaver online. I just want as many items to transform as possible. I will definitely take two more support items. It makes sense to put the aura items on Sivir because you want to put Sivir next to Kale. I get to save some health against the fortune player. Excel doesn't work for me. Harmonist seems ideal because it benefits Kale. Five store weaver is a huge buff. 50% more damage and bigger AoE. Now I just need some frontline. They rolled for 5 faded, but they opted to keep in 4 bruiser instead. The Lao is a nice frontline upgrade over Nico. Gives Warden an overall just to take care of unit. Ghostly is going to run through my team.
picking the highest cost minion available. What's in the box? These suck. One shot's fine. A couple of Aegis are probably fine too, to give a mix of offensive and defensive stats. More ghostly. Let's see if this Aegis makes a diff. I get another item? Oh, red buff. I actually might keep that just for the anti-heal and a future Aurelia item. This blue kill is one of the few things with enough burst to kill Yone. The plan now is to go 8 and roll for Galio. Stabilize it with 7 Story Weaver and then go 9. Not a lot going on this turn, just transforming another item and stacking one turn before leveling. I'm getting run over by duelists. I need 7 Story Weaver to be able to kill the Volley Bear. Epitaph and Martyr are both excellent. I think Martyr is just slightly better overall. Let's find 7 Story Weaver. Hmm, does something happen? I didn't notice anything. Just normal TFT gameplay happening. And now it's just the Kale show. Now the question is, do I roll for Galio, or do I just use Hui to upgrade my board and go 9? Watch KL one-shot their entire front line. Well, break your positioning doesn't work for me. It's just Mogul's mail. My support items have sucked this game. I guess I can shot what's best, so I can shot both sides of the board. Funnily enough, my weak frontline makes their frontline walk up into Kale Alt. No clue why I'm not duplicating this Garen. Anyway, I'm going 9. They actually got to 7 Fortune. I have to kill them here, or they just win the game. Looking around, it doesn't seem like anyone's close to a 3 star. So if I make it to level 9 and find Aurelia and Galio 2, I should win the game. I would have taken Rudens for Aurelia, but now I just reforged this into a support item.
I need more frontline to make sure Volibear doesn't just walk onto my backline. I leveled and ruled this turn so I can find a 5 cost to copy with Huey, but I could have just taken the Lee Sin out of the artist text. So instead, I use my duplicator to copy the Aurelia. This guy's already level 9. In a couple of turns, he'll be really strong. I want to get in Lee Sin, so I move items to Garen because eventually he turns into Galio. Kale's first cast procs Edge of Night. Second cast breaks the shield, and that's enough to win the fight. Gunblade is perfect for Aurelia. And now I get Aurelia 2 and another support item. I missed again. Imagine how strong I would be if I actually hit multiple Zeeks and Chalices. Way is just too slow and I have too much healing. Scouting to watch out for a random 3 star. My AFK Zephyr managed to get their Aphelios. They have no chance. I'm down for a damage item on Aurelia. IE is perfectly fine. 3580 with upside isn't bad at all. People really don't know how to scout Zephyr anymore. Six Invoker with Azir and Lissandra too. Sounds pretty good to me. Azir gets suffered, and when he comes back down, he wastes his first ult. Not sure why I level this turn. I could have easily waited until after Carousel. At least to get in 3 Altruist. I'm watching these fights, and Lily just doesn't do anything. It's kind of sad. I believe Spat can't be that bad. Galio and Wukong go in over Diana and Garen once they're two starred. They're trying a different Lilia angle. Let's see if it pays off. That's Shuji. Blue Kale definitely still has the DPS. Thanks for watching.